Good morning, everybody. 4 a.m. Coffee's hot and good. Let's set the timer here because I'm going to read the 19th chapter of the books of the Acts of the Apostles. Chapter 19. Paul at Ephesus is what it says, and I just marked up the fresh read. See the yellow, the blue window, the red circle letters, and I've written over the top of some words. I want to make a point here. First point is Ephesus, 50 AD, headquarters. Everything within 150 to 200 miles in a circle around Ephesus. That would include Corinth and Achaia. 200 miles between the west coast of Turkey, Ephesus, headquarters for the Roman Empire in Asia. When they went east to conquer land, they made Ephesus the capital of the Roman Empire in Asia Minor and in Asia, of which Turkey is uh, a western landmass of Asia. We got Syria is Asia. We've got uh, Mesopotamia which is the landmass between the Tigris and the Euphrates going south and east. Uh, did it go down to the Red Sea? Might be wrong on that one. Anyway, there was salt water. The Euphrates and the Tigris dumped into a strip of salt water, ocean, of where Ur is located. Who came from Ur? You are Abram before his name change. He was Abram. A B R A M. Got to read, got to study, got to get it right in the spirit. In the spirit. And I and it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus and finding certain disciples. You know, you're finding disciples all over in Acts. You're not finding Christians. You're finding disciples. Disciples of the spiritual way. I am the way, the truth, and the life beyond human life, beyond breathing air. The spiritual way. The new sect, the spiritual way. Verse 2, 19, 2 of Acts. He said unto them, those certain disciples that he found at Ephesus. He said unto them, have you received the Holy Spirit since you believed? That should be asked in every Protestant church, denomination, organization, independent group. Have you received the Holy Spirit since you believed? I'll leave that right there. I want to get down to, to verse 4 and make a major point. We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Spirit, not Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. And he said unto them, Unto what then were you baptized? And they said, Unto John's baptism. John's baptism was H2O water in the Jordan River. Verse 4, Then Paul said, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance and water, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus Lord. John was pointing to the Lord Christ Jesus that would come after John. 
So here's my point. Verse 5. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name or the authority of the Lord Jesus. Now, you're to believe on him that comes after John. Him that comes after John had a baptism. The Lord Jesus Christ had a spiritual baptism. The new sect called the way found in synagogues is the natural way, but there is the spiritual way, spiritual revelation, the spiritual way above the line, which is more important than the natural way. John the Baptist had a water baptism, the natural way. The Lord Jesus Christ had a spiritual baptism, the spiritual way. We're going to a life, immortality, dwelling in the light, living without breathing air in a new glorious body. And we need the baptism of the Lord Jesus Christ, which is spirit, Holy Spirit baptism. All right. That they should believe on him, which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus Lord. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name or the authority of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid hands on them, the Holy Spirit came on them, and they spoke with tongues and prophesied. And down in verse 8, the spiritual heavenly kingdom of God, heavenly spiritual, the new sect of the spiritual, the new sect of the way of the spiritual, that's how I read it. Listen to me. Any eloquent speaker can take the scriptures. You can stand on opposite sides of the fence and make scriptures support what you believe. And your opposites. And one is right in Revelation spiritual truth and one is wrong. They're not both right. You can, oh, there is a time when you're both right. If you're in the natural, man in the natural, below the line in Christian, Protestant, Christianity, below the line can be in truth, but it's natural truth. You need to strive to the above, above, life, life, appearing, appearing in the spiritual light, in the immortality, the infinity, faster than light and outside of time is where we're going. Ooh, God is going to bring heaven and earth together in love and peace and truth. But it's about being born in the spiritual peace truth within now. What's your condition now? Are you in the agape, love, spiritual truth within? The truth word within. And the truth word, word is spiritual revelation above the line. Love you, love you, love you, love you.